Hey guys, KillerNarbo here today for another video, and this is a tutorial on my chicken cooker that I did in my latest episode of SkyGrid, and I'll go ahead and put an annotation on the screen for you guys, and a link in the description below. Now, uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested, it's because I am um, getting over a cold, so hopefully it won't affect this video too much, but anyways, let's get into it. So to start things off, let's look at what materials you're going to need. So you're going to need one sticky piston, one grass block, two redstone torches, seven redstone dusts, one redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, two hoppers, one dispenser, two pieces of glass, one lava bucket, two buttons, any building material you want, at least probably 16, but I went with 32 just in case, and one stone slab. Alright, so I built us a little 10x10 10 10 platform. I'm not sure if this is going to be big enough or small enough. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and put all the technical stuff, like how compact it is, at the end of the video. So, to start things off, we are going to put our dispenser... Let's see, where do we want to put this? I want to put it right... I'm sorry if this video is a little bit choppy, but um, this is like my first real redstone tutorial, so you know, I don't have too much experience with it. But you're going to put your slab right there, uh, that's where your chickens are going to land. Next, you're going to put your block here, put a redstone torch, so it should be right there. Then you're going to take a redstone repeater. I'm going to put it on to four ticks, so the very last tick. And now we're going to take our hoppers, and we want them to face into each other. And I'll show you why in a second. I'm going to put our item here. So, if we didn't have power here, the sandstone slab would be going from hopper to hopper. It would just be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And when you power a hopper, it basically blocks it. It stops it from flowing in items into, you know, items into hoppers and dispensers and stuff like that. So that sandstone slab is going to stay there as long as it's powered. When it's depowered, it'll go ahead and swoop right into the hopper, do the other hopper. And that's what we want. Then you're going to place your comparator right there. And when we, we're going to put a button here actually. And when we click our button, you'll hear a little two tick delay. So go, or, um, a two tick, no, a double tick pulse. So I'll let you listen to it. And again. And what that is going to do is we're going to put in our lava bucket. Um, and what it's going to do is that it's going to double tick, or yeah, double tick the lava. It's going to spit it out and then quickly suck it back in. Next we're going to take our two glass blocks and we're going to put them here and take our stone blocks and put them there. So that way we can just kind of see the lava just like that. We're just going to put a block right here. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to put a block here. And we're going to put our sticky piston right there. We're going to take our grass block, excuse me. Put that there. And we're going to put it right there. So this grass block is um, where the chickens are going to spawn. You're going to have an air block right there and then the spawner above it. And uh, keep in mind that this isn't um, like a vanilla. Well, I mean, it is a vanilla Minecraft, but it's not a survival. It's more of like a survival map. So if you find a chicken spawner, um, I think it only works with chicken spawners because they're the only one by one mob that drops me out if I'm not mistaken. But um, if you find a chicken spawner, then go ahead and build this. It's not for, you know, throwing eggs and um, not for throwing eggs and then trapping the chickens. So, what you're going to do you're going to put your button 
actually, let's do this first. So you're going to take your other redstone torch and you're going to put it right here. And what's a, what that's going to do is it's going to power the piston, which is going to grab the grass block. Next, you're going to take your blocks. And you're just going to make a little trail. So right there, right there. Into your um, button. So a button will go right here. And I'll place seven redstone. Two, one, zero. We're going to press our button, place it. And that'll give enough time for the chickens to fall off of the grass block into there where we cook them. So that's the basic gist of it. That that's the whole entire machine. It's really compact. Um, you know, I'm surprised <laughs> I was able to pull something off like this. Um, I'm not very good at redstone, but I was able to build this, and I'm pretty proud of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this kind of full proof, so that way the chickens can't escape once they're in here. Do that. And design. Let's see. Some slabs. Get our slabs. There, 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 and there. And your spawner would go right there. Your spawner would go right here, and you want to get some light, so just go ahead and put torches or glowstone or whatever you want, um, just near the spawner, so there's enough light for, excuse me, for, uh, the chickens to spawn. So, that is the gist of it, that is, it, that's it, that's all you need, you just hit that button, chickens fall, and you cook the chicken. So we'll go ahead and see this baby in action. So we're just gonna spawn on a whole bunch of chickens since we don't have a chicken spawner. So all your chickens are right there. Flip that, you see the chickens fall down. You burn the chickens. And you pick up your chicken feathers, whatever. And keep in mind that it does not cook baby chickens because they're not tall enough. So, um, you have to wait for them to grow up. But, yeah, so let's move on to the technical part. So, all in all, this design is very compact. In fact, it's only 6 by 6 by 6. And I like to call this machine the Deviled Egg Cooker because it's 666. It's a che cheesy name, but it works. So, um,. It's very resource friendly as far as redstone, but you do need only one nether quartz for your redstone comparator and some iron for your hopper. But other than that, it's very resource friendly. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. My name is Kieran Arwell, and I will see you guys later.